hello hello my beautiful people thanks so much for stopping by my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Goretti and today I wanted to talk to you guys about conscious manifesting so if that is not something that you subscribe to go ahead and click off um, if you don't know what it is stay tuned uh, so that I can tell you all about it but this is really um, you know, something that I do in my own life that I have taught many of my clients to do and that I am now really helping and coaching of people through doing this. Um, but basically, if you don't know, we are always manifesting. If you know anything about like law of attraction, law of assumption, if you've heard of the secret, um, that's kind of, you know, a little, um, you know, beginning introduction into this kind of way of living. And so typically, um, you know, what people don't realize is that when we are, you know, the reason I say conscious manifesting is because we are all manifesting all of the time you have been doing it since you you know were born since you took your first breath people don't realize this though because um, it's not something that everybody knows about um, however if you look at a lot of like in different cultures different religions believe it or not this is even spoken of in the Bible um, you know if you're a Christian it's just the terminology like the words that we use are different um, in the metaphysical community as opposed to you know religious communities but it is really all the same thing <laughs> this is what i found um and so you know basically if you don't believe in this that's fine but it's still working and you can kind of you know pay attention to your life and i'll tell you how to notice this and that's actually what this video is all about but manifesting like I said, the laws of the universe, law of assumption, law of attraction, this is happening all of the time. Whether you realize it or not, it is like gravity. It is a law of the universe. It is happening all the time. Why we say conscious manifesting is because some people, once you learn this information, now are consciously manifesting things, creating things to happen in their life and in their world. So an example I've used before, um, a really simple one is, have you ever thought about someone and then all of a sudden they contact you, right? Um, or out of the blue, you start thinking about somebody and then you see them, you run into them. Um, or let's say you think to yourself, I'm going to get great parking and all of a sudden you do. Or, you know, wouldn't it be nice if I got like a free cup of coffee today and then, you know, the person in front of you actually buys you uh, your coffee. So, you know, things like that um, or self-fulfilling prophecy right when you're actually thinking about like uh something that you're worried about that you're fearing you know this is going to happen and then it happens and you think yeah i knew it was going to happen well no actually you created it to happen okay and so i know this is a hard pill to swallow especially when you first find out about it but this is also something that is very empowering because when you find out this information now you can actually do something to change your life so in the beginning, it's kind of like being a baby, being a toddler. You're just, you know, learning how to walk. You stumble, you make mistakes, you know, um, even as somebody who is a very, um, you know, um, regular uh, conscious manifester, I still mess up, you know, I still allow my feelings to take over. Um, and what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, um, you know, kind of a term that not a lot of people talk about. And I really, this really resonated with me when I first heard it. And I can't remember who or where, but it really made sense to me. And I started kind of looking at my life and paying attention to these things. And when I'm consciously manifesting, I really pay attention to this. But it is, you know, the photocopy, um, you know, principle, I call it. Okay, so if you can look at, let me backtrack, your thoughts, what you envision, what you assume, and that's coming from your beliefs, okay, and we can change beliefs. I've done videos on this, I'll do more, but we can change our beliefs. Whatever you're thinking about, assuming is going to happen, assume about, believe about, um, that is what creates what actually happens in your world. So if you can imagine that your thoughts, your assumptions, 
creates a photocopy. If you were to be able to copy what you are thinking about, assuming that photocopy, that, that gets photocopied, all of these thoughts and assumptions, and that is what you are copying into your world. Okay, so if you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to get this job, you know, that I applied for, it's not going to happen for me, um, they're not going to choose me, think of those thoughts actually like you just photocopied it. And every thought that goes into the photo photocopy machine, right, comes out and that's what your reality becomes. That's what your physical, tangible reality in front of you that you can feel, taste, touch, smell, everything with your five senses, that is what gets created. It is photocopied for you based on your thoughts. Your thoughts and your assumptions is what you put on the copy machine and then the paper that gets photocopied is what will happen into your reality. So when you think of that, when I first heard that, I was like, wow, I'm photocopying, right? What what do I want to copy? What What do I want to get printed out in my life for me to experience? What thoughts am I having? What assumptions are am I having? Well, I don't want to copy that. I don't want that to be the photocopy that comes out. That's not the page that I wanted, right? That's not what I wanted to photocopy. That's not what I want as a tangible result in my reality that I'm going to experience. That's not what I want. So what do I want? What am I going to put on that copier machine, right? The thoughts, beliefs, assumptions. So this is where belief work is really important to how to shift and change your subconscious mind. That's why that is important. But also, what assumptions do you have about yourself, about money, about relationships, about this person, about this situation, about what you're allowed to have, what you can have? So... This is kind of, you know, the beginning of what I want to teach you guys. Um, I will be talking a lot more about this because this is a topic I am super passionate about that so many people aren't aware of. And I know that people come to me for counseling, you know, and I do incorporate this with those who are open to it. Not everybody is open to it, but I really love teaching about this. I have used this in my own reality, my own life. And I am telling you guys, this stuff works. Okay. I am celebrating or by the time you watch this, I would have already celebrated 12 years in my business as a counselor. I really manifested and created my career, not just the schooling, you know, the education uh, for me to be able to do this, but also creating, uh, being a, you know, independent counselor on my own, having this business, you know, through so many ups and downs in my life and being very successful. I have done this by using my thoughts and beliefs and assumptions. Okay, so 12 years in business as an independent, you know, uh, counselor, pretty, you know, great, there aren't many in my city, um, you know, and, you know, so that, that that's an incredible success. And the reason is because I have used this photocopy principle. All right, um, something else, you know, as well, um, you know, when, when it comes to health, when it comes to, um, you know, money, all of these things. And whenever, you know, I look back and I'm like, well, you know, what were my thoughts? What were my assumptions? What were my beliefs? Well, just look at the photocopy, look at the page, look at, look at what your reality is showing you. And then you'll know what went into the copy machine. So then this is also how we learn right, to be able to do this. So like I said, I'm going to teach you guys, this is something, you know, I love counseling, I do this, but I also want to be able to coach people with this. I wanna be able to teach and train you guys this. So many people don't know how to do it. I know there's a lot of teachers and coaches and training uh, out there for this, 
um, you know, confirmation there. But it is something that I am super passionate about that has completely transformed my life. And I know it can transform yours too. And every time I slip back into old patterns, old thinking, old beliefs, you know, old assumptions, you know, my photocopy comes out and it's not great. And then when I realize, hey, wait a second, that's right. My thoughts, you know, assumptions and beliefs are what's a photocopying in my tangible reality. Once I shift and change that, right? It slowly shifts and changes. And now that I've gotten really good at this, it actually almost happens. I don't want to say instantaneously, but usually within a day or two, everything changes and it happens each and every time, right? And we're human, right? Humans, I'm human. Humans forget. We're very forgetful, you know, um, and I lots of times forget that we have this power within us. This is where the whole, you know, believing without seeing, right? Seeing is believing. We have to believe it first for it to show up. When This is why people that have faith and belief, it is so important that even though they don't know about conscious manifesting, they're actually doing it. They know if I have complete, total faith and belief that this is going to happen, it will happen. I experienced this without, you know, the awareness even uh, of my parents knowing that they were doing this. Now looking back, I realized this is what it was. They were very, you know, my parents are Catholic. They're very, you know, spiritual, um, very religious. And, um, you know, my father was diagnosed with a stage four cancer. Like his prognosis was like, you know, you better get your things in order because you're not going to be here around long. And he had four kids. The youngest was, you know, my brother was a year. I was like 12 years old. And so I was very, you know, aware of what was happening. And I remember both of my parents with complete utter faith and belief praying and saying, you know, praying in faith, not like, please, God, do this. It was like, no. You know, you're going to be healed. You're going to be whole. You're going to be complete. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to be around for many, many years. You guys, I'm 45. My dad, you know, thank God, is still here. All right? So, against all odds, why? Faith and belief. What we think about, what we assume, and what we believe is what photocopies out into our reality. So this is why paying attention to your thoughts is so important. And so if you would like to continue learning about this, I will post, um, I believe it's up here. I will post a video that I'm going to be doing. Um, you know, please go ahead and watch that in regards to, you know, having what we call a mental diet. This is paying attention to your thoughts because your thoughts manifest and create and photocopy out into your reality um, what it is that you're thinking assuming and believing all right my loves so if you would like to uh, shift and change your life this is a really great um, way to do it all right my loves and it doesn't take you know much effort I mean other than you know mental effort okay so I hope this was helpful for you. I really enjoyed doing this for you guys. Don't forget to do all the things like comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Share this video with anybody that you think it might be helpful for. If you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever growing butterfly community. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos as I post them because somehow YouTube is struggling with doing that. All right, so you wanna make sure that you uh, click on the bell icon and as well if you would like to work with me if you need help with counseling uh, if you need you know a therapist or if you would like somebody to help you with coaching or help you with this a journey of manifesting I would absolutely love to work with you I will have all my information in the description box below and yeah thanks so much for being here you guys and I wish you all peace love and light until next time bye bye